Hello everyone, in this video I will show you how to use analog input sensor for ESP Home in Home Assistant. Because we usually we use this analog input sensor, uh, such as this is a water level sensor, but right? it's analog. And also you will use the temperature sensor or the humidity sensor or many different analog sensors that are commonly used in the industry. And in this video I will use A8S V2 board and use this analog generate uh, to test how to configure it in ESP Home so that you can integrate your analog device in your home assistant very easily and the commonly used is analog signal type is 0 to 5 volt and 4 to 20 milliampere so let's begin how to do with it and this you can see in your home, home assistant and we can go to the ESP Home and create the A8S V2 board. The A8S V2 board you can see that is schematic and this is the PCB. I will use this board uh, to show you because it has two channels of 0 to 5 watt and two channels of 4 to 20 milliampere analog input. So you can see uh, this schematic firstly uh, this used by the ESP32 and here you can see that is ADC this is analog input uh, that A1 and A2 is 0 to 5 watt input and A3 and A4 that is 4 to 20 milliampere. So in our PCB board you can see uh, this four terminal this four point that for analog input and this two is for 0 to 5 watt and this two point is for 4 to 20 milliampere. I will use this A1 and A3 just connect with this generate uh, monitor the voltage and monitor the current in this video. Okay, you can see this is our A8S V2 board. Uh, you can see this is V2 version because we have this menu country button. If without any software, without any firmware, that can menu country this relay output. And here you can see that have the analog input uh, that is A1, A2, A3, A4. I will use this A1 and A3 because every two channel is different signal. So this is our ESP32 board. And for example, this is a water level sensor. And you can see that have the 0 to 5 watt. So maybe you have used a temporary sensor or humid sensor. I just choose this 0 to 5 watt that you can connect with the A1 and A2 and I will use this uh, voltage and current generate so you can see uh, that is have a battery so easy for testing I can adjust this for voltage or I can choose the model for this current so that will output uh, at here uh, this will have the terminal output the voltage and output the current so I will use this terminal and just connect at here. I will use this terminal and connect with this ATS V2 board so that can monitor the voltage and monitor the current. Okay, I can turn off. And here I can connect with it. Okay. And now you can see uh, this a, B, O, that is analog output. I have connect A1. And this is A, I, O, that means analog current out. I have connect with A3. Okay. I just put it here. Now let's back to the home assistant. You can see in our form, we have already have the ESP Home YAML file uploaded to our phone. You can directly to use. So you just copy this code. Or you can also download this uh, YAML file. And I have downloaded it, uh, just this file. You just direct it to use. So it's very really easy. And uh, we can copy all code and paste in ESP Home. So back to the ESP Home and create the new device for A8S V2 board and continue A8S V2 uh, because uh, we have already used this name A8S V2 so you can click next and choose ESP32 
and you can see this just skip and edit and we can delete all and because I need to paste all this code copy or code and paste it here and you can see and we can just click save and we can see a lot of code uh, just because this board use i square c chip for extend the gpl for really output and really input and this config by the ethernet and this is i square c extend the chip and this that have configured the switch uh, just for eight channel relay eight channel relay and this binary sensor that for input and you will see this sensor that for analog input the analog input that is A1 for voltage, A2 for voltage that have the pin number uh, 36 and 34 because you can also see this pin defined list in our form that is A8S board, uh, AS, A8S board V1 and V2 pin defined the same so you can see that is for analog input uh, and the, this is the pin number so okay we just go on and these settings is for analog 0 to 5 watt and 0 to 5 watt for voltage and this A3 and A4 that we have configured for the current uh, just for current sensor current sensor okay we can click save and click install and by this USB cable to download the firmware and let's test it uh, with the analog input sensor Okay, this is download complete and this is my board IP address and close it and click setting and device and you will find this have discovered the AS board v2 version we just click config and submit and finish and you will see that have AS v2 board and you can see that have list the entities this is for relay output and this is for value sense input and analog input we can add to dashboard just click add here add to home next add to dashboard and this sensors also add to dashboard click add to dashboard okay we can go to this overview and you will see that really i can control turn on all relay and already off and here that is binary sense input uh, this video will look at this A1 to A4 and now we can test it uh, with my A1 so you can see I turn on this generate and now is voltage voltage mode and zero voltage and I change it change it to 1 volt and in my home assistant, uh, you can see that is 1 volt, 1.04. So I can use the multimeter to test it. And test this input, analog input 1, at here, and at here. That is almost 1 volt. So 999, uh, 0 0.999, 1 volt. Okay, uh, this is a watch. Now I can change it to 1.9, and you can see the home assistant is 1.9. And I change to 2.5, and you will see the home assistant is 2.5. So I can change to 3.3 volts. At here and in home assistant that also is updates okay this time I change to 5 watt you can see here 5 watt and the home assistant will update to 5 watt so this time you can see the voltage input to analog 1 have update uh, with the home assistant okay let's test the A3 that is the current I can turn off and turn on again and change to current mode this is current mode that have input to this analog 3 the default is 20 milliampere 
So you can see in our home assistant, that is 20 milliampere. So I can reduce it. So you can see, I can change to 18.2. That is almost 18.3 in home assistant. I can reduce to about 12.7 and you will see that about 12.8 just uh, uh, 0 0.1 milliampere is the difference is normal so I can change to low cur current 5.9 this is 5.9 and this is almost uh, 6 milliampere and the change to slowly and the change to low that is 2.6 and you will see this about 2.8 this is just a, a little difference and 1.8 and you will see about 1.9 because uh, this has some cables and some uh, interference and some reasons uh, so a little difference is normal so this time I have showed you how to monitor the current and how to monitor the watch from the analog device so this you can see that is updated in Home Assistant so you can connect with the uh, analog sensor with A1, A2, or A4, and A3. So this is how to detect the analog sensor. And also you can click that have a history and for different sensor and for this different history, you can see that here uh, when is on and when is off. So this used by Home Assistant is very easily. Okay, thanks for watching.